Hey, what's going on? What's going on, people? So, 2017 really just started, right? It's already May. We're heading towards um, summer. That's how it feels, so I say it. Uh, oh, uh, a bit of a check-in, actually. Um, last night, I uh, had the, uh, the culmination of the Higgins, the Eklund Higgins 30 Days project we played. Um, due to it being a Monday night, it was a small turnout. But um, significant turnout. I was really touched by who came, you know. <laughs> um, people are, m many of my friends and uh, associates in art are real busy and multitaskers. So I have no expectation of any of them. So when those were the main people who came out to see us last night, um, my other musician artist friends who are super busy, meant a lot to me, you know, and um, m made sure that Greg got to meet all of them because, you know, even though he's been in town for about a year now, he still hasn't met a lot of people. Um, I think there's a clip uh, online. I, we made some mistakes. Uh, it's really funny, you know, I want to share this. Greg Eklund, as you know, was the drummer in Everclear, but he, as he says himself, I was just a drummer. You, Derek, are, yeah, I played in front of, you know, literally thousands of people all over the world, and yet you're more recognizable than me. Um, and, um... It's been very interesting to get to know him and, and, and talk to him and <clears throat> get the inside story from another person who's lived through the rock and roll machine, which I've been observing all my life and realized I don't want that. You know, I want the music, I want the uh, recognition, but all that other stuff that goes along with money fame, he told me, and it's the, the same story, you know. I knew I didn't want that, still don't want it. So anyway, um, it was a good, it was a good, good time, and if anything, if there's any chance that we can do it one more time be before they move, he's now leaving on tour with Storm Large, and he does that. He tours a lot with her. So if there's an, a chance we can do it again, we will. <coughs> I just want to also just say, um, you know, I get, I get questions in the comments, and after a while I disengage because then I re it, it's just my way. It's like, okay, I don't want to get stuck in this, okay? Okay, I'll answer some, and then they just keep coming, and then it's like, okay, okay, we're going to shut the floodgate for a while, and I'll get back to them, and maybe I will, maybe I won't. John Coltrane 68 got a hold of me and made a request that I want to fulfill, um, um, for John, and it's something I want to do, which is show more of my burned CDs. I'm not going to do it in this one. The reason is I need to kind of refresh myself. I, for years, I would um, track down rare, interesting records that are collectible because I wanted to hear them, and I and I would find them, download them, and then burn CDs and make covers. So that's what uh, Chris wants me to show. I will, I will do that for you, Chris, but. I want to tell you a third time in a third video how much I like this album, Mew. I'm, this is on constant repeat here at the house. Um, I love it when that happens to me, when music hits me in the sweet spot and I have, and it won't let me go for a while. It doesn't happen really often, but when it happens, I love it. Um, it's not necessarily a particular type of artist. It's just, it will be what they've done. It'll be the music that makes, that. This is just what I need right now. I love every song on this album, and um, since getting it, my other um, big favorites on here are Learn Our Crystals, The Wake of Your Life, Shoulders, I love the whole album. And um, they're coming to the, to the United States. I just talked to my friend Nick Fackler, who I play with in Nikki Blossoms. He also is a friend with with Jonas and we're gonna 
try and go to the Chicago show in August and hook up with Jonas. If, if we can do it, I'll make a, I'll make a video, <laughs> some kind of little video, memento of it. This album is fantastic, fantastic. Haven't played a whole lot of music, but the last couple of records I played besides that because I really have been playing this on repeat. It's in my head right now. So when I get done with the video, I'm going to play it because it's just like that. I've gone through large jags of time where Dead Can Dance is another band that's done this to me, where I can't, their music becomes my life for a time. Uh, obviously, when I was younger, Peter Gable era Genesis and even Peter Gable solo when those albums at the heyday of his solo career when those albums came out I lived and breathed that music you know because it just it hits me in the right spot but something else I played because it came up um, in a picture Scott Mays is someone I haven't met who is a record collector and apparently a very serious one with a, a very valuable collection the stuff he shows on Facebook in the groups is consistently very hard to find and expensive. He showed this album and I have it, but I have it because I knew about it when it came out. Carolyn K. now wait for uh, last year on the Nocturnal Emissions. No, this is on Earthly Delights, but she was one of the people I understand helped to start a very cool um, industrial noise label um, Nocturnal Emissions. This is the only album she made. It's an ambient drone album. This is a rare masterpiece. Um, she just really got it right. It's dark. But boy, did she get it right. This goes for, a, you know, starting around 200 bucks a copy for originals. Now, I, apparently it was reissued on vinyl. But this is an original. I bought it when it came out. Which, um... Quite a few of the collectible records I have, that's why I have them, because I have them since it came out. You know, um, I'm not what they call a flipper, which is someone who looks for records to sell for be better, bigger value. I'm always just trying to find music. Um, yes, I'll admit that Diana Birnott is someone whose videos uh, I catch. I like her flavor. I like, I like her accent, you know, I do. But I love Diana's take on music. The girl, I know she's a woman, but when I say girl, if you're familiar with a subculture, you'll know that that's a compliment. Girl, okay? The way that you say it lets you know it's a compliment. But uh, Diana um, knows music, you know? She's into it, you know? And she's a real artist, and so I really enjoy listening to her, her comments. She showed this George or Jorge Ben album, um, Brute Force. I have the same version she has, which is the Four Men with Beards. Again, this is one where if you can get an original copy in good shape, you're going to pay for it. Excuse me, slurping. I don't speak Portuguese, but I'll tell you what, there are so many records and artists, and Jorge Ben is one where I really don't need... I understand just enough. I can hear it in the inflection in his voice, certain words, but above all the music, this album is fantastic. Oh my goodness, it just feels so good. Um, it's like a warm summer day. I mean, he's from Brazil, and it's like I'm in Brazil when I listen to this record. Um, Força Bruta. Yeah, so again, watching her video prompted me to pull this, and what a great album. Because I was getting ready for the show yesterday and kind of talking it up on Facebook, I pulled this Everclear album to show, to post a picture of Greg to kind of remind folks, you know, kind of, kind of, it's like, so you may not be interested in me, maybe you're not interested in music, but maybe you didn't realize this guy who you, was in a band you liked it's playing so I posted it but I played this also and again 
for the time, um, this really is pretty real. Everclear were, were, were real. Learning the story, though, it's, again, business. You know, the business side of everything is not what I'm into, you know, and it's, you can't have one without it, the other, apparently, but um, mankind really is greedy and selfish, and we just really, we talk game, but very few of us are very um, much able to rise above our own selfish nature. That's what I say about, um, you know, the fact that we're stuck in this economic game. I haven't played this, but I pulled it because it's another one I saw online that's been released on CD, and I have an original copy of it. I believe they're from Spain, Guadalquivir, Quivir. It's a bit of a fusion instrumental album with a decidedly Spanish flamenco feel, but um, some fiery playing. And it's nice on green vinyl, Harvest Label green vinyl. I need to play it, I haven't played it in years, but um, someone showed it and I just pulled it. Sometimes that'll be the impetus to just pull these records just because um, I'll see it. Sometimes I kind of forget I have them. I want to keep this short, I'm always saying that. Um, I posted another song from Sound Waves. Thank you for listening and thank you for the feedback. It is good music, isn't it? Um, I dare say I know what I speak of when I, you know, it's not that my opinion is is anything more than an opinion, but um, I do love good music. And so uh, I try to make good music and uh, you can hear glad to share it with you I'm also I, I also love that I think it leads to sales I got a couple sales because you need to hear it if you don't I a lot of people don't even listen it's like they'll see it they like me people in here in town who know me a, a lady came to the show last night um Ashley I, I met her and she's familiar with me but she said I've never heard you play so I'll probably post another um, sound clip. I'm trying to get a video made for one of these songs, but the person who can do it is so busy. So we'll see if that happens. Um, shout out to you all. Um, I'll shout out to Cosmic Drifter, because I know that you told me many times that the, the videos seem to be a they serve a purpose for you so I'm glad about that glad that your energy is part of my my world I haven't watched yet Trish DJ Trish she said she shouted me out in a video recently she bought some CDs thank you I haven't watched yet uh, words ruin music I don't think I've ever mentioned that person but I appreciate you all I really do and um you know, there's, you know, something being worked on behind the scenes here that I can't talk about yet, but it's like, we're really excited and we really hope by that, I mean, I have a team of people behind this project that we're hoping will happen. But even if it doesn't, I just want to tell you that I am so blessed. I have such a wonderful circle of people in my life besides my family my music, art friends. I just really know some really good people and I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful to have real friends, people who really know me because it keeps me strong in the face of people who don't know me and dare to step to me with their bullshit trying to tell me it's mine and it's like, boy, I know better. You have to pick somebody else. 